an idea today. The other day we were walking and I saw these beautiful leaves hanging from a tree. So I picked a couple and I pressed them just underneath my little rice bags. And this is not a rice bag. I'm sorry. This is a flaxseed bag. I can feel them in there. Yeah. So under my flaxseed bags. So I thought maybe instead of trying to draw my own, let's see if we can't give it a little sketchy sketch and, you know, just adjust the gist of where it is. Okay, so this is 100% cotton arches watercolor paper. Yesterday we tried the, um, what is this stuff called? Mixed media paper with, uh, from Canson, sorry. So yeah, that yesterday we did this one on the mixed media paper with Canson, which literally, if I hadn't slammed a book on it to try to flatten it out, I think it wouldn't have even got the wrinkles. But it is bowed a bit, but... You know, for a card or for whatever. I think that's a great picture. So, let's see what happens. when we just give this a little bit of a... You know, I'm just going to kind of outline a little bit here and there. Just so I know where it goes. You know? Maybe you don't know. But I'm just going to see if we can give it a little bit of an outline. That's all. That's all we're doing. And then, who knows? Maybe it'll be a green leaf. Maybe it'll be a, a fall leaf. Who knows? With, with me, you never can tell. But I also thought of doing it in the same style with that background. Making the background colors to suit my fancy. So, we'll see how that works. And I am thinking it's going to work fabulously. Absolutely fantastic. So, how have you been? I hope you're having a great day. I hope things are going well in your world. Things are going well here. I don't know if I really want this to be crooked, so I think I'm going to straighten it back out. This is my picture, so I can do whatever I want, right? So literally, you could do this. This is super duper easy. You're not even having to, like, paint from memory. You're not having to do any work, per se. You're just taking nature, drying it out, which... I, Literally, you probably didn't even have to dry it. You probably, I could have done this without drying it, but, but yeah, I dried it, and then it's been sitting there for a few days. But look at that! Can you see that? I think that looks fantastic. A little fuzzy there. That's fabulous, fantastic. Okay, so now. The other thing that we're going to do really quick is um, I'm going to find something. Okay, I found it. Okie dokie. So uh, this is a kneaded eraser. This is a couple of kneaded erasers mixed together. As far as I know, these don't ever go bad. You just have to knead them and get them back pliable again. But um, I know some people said, mine got hard and I threw it away. Okay, well, you can. You can throw it away if you want to. But I don't think it's necessary. So uh, I have a little piece, which is much easier to work with. So I'm just going to pick up some of this because I don't need it to be this dark. And once you put watercolor on it, it is not going to go away. Now, if you're going to make an outline, um, then it's fine. Do it your way. You can leave it there. If it doesn't bother you, it's fine. But... Um, as of right now, this is going to bother me because it's very strong, even though I was very light with it. This is just a mechanical pencil, too, Paper Mate. Um, yeah, I got these at the Dollar Tree. A big pack of them for a dollar. Woo! -hoo. Okay, so I know now you can barely see that, but I can see it, and it's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, see if I can recycle some 
tape and just tape down just the edges because like I said I'm going to do it in my style um, when I make my background so it doesn't have to be perfect it's just holding it down for me yep we're still recording awesome wonderful stupendous fantastic I did look up how to say this Dane I don't even know I'm not good with pronouncing people's names and such, especially big names like that. But as you can see, I'm giving them props. They have a good paintbrush. It is a very good paintbrush. I really love it. So I'm just going to get it wet wherever I see fit. And yes, I'm going to get it wet on top of my, my sweet little drawing. It's not a big deal. It's all good. I just want it to be just a little jagged around the edges because that's the way I like it. That's the way I like it. So I am doing the background first and then I will be doing the leaf itself. So this is going to be two layers and it's going to be fabulous. So I'm thinking along the lines of the blues, uh, possibly purples, my blacks. Oh, that lovely tint color that I love so much. Stuff like that for this. Um, we're going to go back to our Velvet Touch Princeton number 6. This really is a nice paintbrush. I really like it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of, wow, I got rid of my cheat sheet. I had a distract, distractor in here today, and so my cheat sheet was moved. So we're going to try some Cerulean Blue by um, Windsor Newton. We're going to try a little bit of that around, see how it goes. I haven't been very uh, impressed with with the cerulean blue that they have. I have not. I have uh, in, not enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed some of their other colors. But that's okay. But I was thinking, wouldn't that be pretty as like that fall sky? You know, the sky in fall is fabulous. I love the blue skies. It's so pretty. Okay, so we're just going to water that down a little bit. That's just some just water. I'm just going to grab a little more for this side. We're going to water it down a little bit more again. Mush it around and see what happens. I'm also going to start down here and get this wet again because this dries fast. It's hot in my house today. Even though we have the air conditioner going, it's hot in here and I have a fan blowing on me. So it's going to make everything dry a little faster, which is fine. Okay, so my neutral tint. I'm going to do a little bit of neutral tint first. And a little neutral tint up here just to give it a little I love that depth that it brings it just is fantastic now you don't have to use neutral tint if you don't have it and you have like um, uh, lamp black or Payne's gray or any of those you could use any of those it would be fine absolutely fine you can use whatever darkening color that you have or whatever floats your boat whatever makes you happy whatever makes you happy this got a little dark I'm not really crazy about that super super dark right there and all I'm doing is cleaning off my brush drying it off a little bit and picking up a little bit of that color <clears throat> that's all I'm doing just picking up a little bit of that color because for my liking, it was a little dark. 
the other thing about watercolor is that it is always going to it's always going to be lighter when it dries I'm going to do just a dab of some purple in this sky just a little little dab or a lot <laughs> sometimes you think it's going to be a dab but like I said it's going to uh, lighten up it's going to be so pretty just going to be this little hint of purple we're just going to give it a little just a little hint I like that okay so I'm going to once again use my okay that was purple quinochrome purple by David Daniel Smith I'm also going to use his under the sea green because I really like this color I'm going to put some of that down here because it's really dark it's like super dark and kind of almost musky looking, you know? Not really, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like that, that green that you see in nature. I think it's very much like the green you see in nature. A lot. I love that color. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more of the greens. Just, just around because this is going to be a nature scene. This is like something out of, out of uh, wherever you're standing out there this fall, and you're looking around and you're like, "Whoa, that's beautiful." When you see that beauty, you're going to be like, "Whoa, that's what she's talking about." Yeah. This is when I want to paint. This is what I do. Okay, I'm also going to try a little bit of olive green by Winsor Newton. It's not, it doesn't move as well, but it is also a beautiful green that I really, really love. Okay, I think we need a little bit more of this blue. This beautiful cerulean blue. That's a lot, a lot of liquid. You don't want it to be too liquidy. Okay, and you can also pick this up and have it kind of tilted. And then the color goes where you want it to go. If you see what I mean. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do a little bit of the in the throne blue, just a tad, just to give it that dark blue undertone. You know what I mean? Ooh, so beautiful, so gorgeous, gorgeous man, gorgeous. It's another one of my favorite colors. Literally, I absolutely love all of Daniel Smith's colors. I would love to get like all of his colors, like a whole full palette of just Daniel Smith. Oh, but it's expensive, man. And where I live, they don't have it where you can just buy one here and there. Well, they do, but I have all the ones that they have. So <clears throat> anybody out there want to support a local artist, send me some paint. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I really, really like that. I don't know if you can tell, but we have not felt good, so my voice sounds a little off. So I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. My sister's favorite saying. I absolutely hate that saying, but she said it so often that I'm like, you know, it's very true. Sad, sadly true. Okay, I love the background. I think, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Let me look at it one more minute. Does it need anything else? Maybe a little more of the, not the, the tint, natural tint. What is it, natural tint? Neutral, not natural, neutral. Just a little more neutral tint, because it gives it, I don't know what it gives it, but it does 
makes me happy. And that one's not going to go anywhere because it's dry on that side. But I'm going to fix that. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Not everywhere. Not everywhere. Just a little bear. A little bear? <laughs> little places. Little where. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Makes me happy. Okay, now we're gonna let it stop. We're gonna stop messing with it. We're gonna let it dry, and then I will be back. Shouldn't take long in this building because it's so hot in here. Should dry pretty quick. Okay, okay, I'll be back. While we're waiting on it drying, I want to make sure you guys notice the difference. This is 100% uh, cotton paper. I am all about painting on what you can afford because there's a lot of times that I'm not going to just make a fantastic painting on Arches watercolor paper because it's super expensive. And... I can't afford that all the time. So I know there's a lot of people out there who think, oh, I would love to, but I can't afford all these things. So paint on what you can paint on. Whatever it is. I mean, you can paint on a lined piece of paper. It's not going to do this. It's not going to look like this, but it's still going to be beautiful. You don't have to have blendies. You don't have to have all this stuff happening it doesn't have to be this way it, and it will buckle but you can fix that as well you can put books on top of it and it can flatten out and you can use it for a card or whatever if you're just trying to brighten your own day if you're just wanting to make something do it but this is 100% arches 100% cotton arches watercolor paper just a little scrap sheet of it I never throw anything away um, but yeah you can do this. It's easy. So seriously, part of me wants to just leave it like that and glue the, the leaf right to it because, wow, the leaf is pretty all by itself. <clears throat> but that's not what we're doing. So, that's for another day. <laughs> kind of sad. Just a tad sad. <laughs> I cracked myself up all by myself over here. If you haven't noticed already. Okay, so this is almost dry. It's still damp in a couple of places. But I figured we could go ahead and get busy with it. Because, why not? And this, this is fun. So I am just going around the leaf with clear water. I had to go back and put some of the lines back in again because... My eyes are not that great, and I'm like, dude, I can't even tell where I put those lines. It's gone. It is gone. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little water, a little uh, yellow to this, maybe a little, just a tad. Um, just so I can see it better. Where we're putting this, maybe then you can see it better as well. So we're just gonna add a little yellow in here. Uh, because this is, once again, this is mine, and I'm going to make it into a fall leaf. Because I like fall. I really, really do. Fall is like one of my favorite. I wait and wait and wait for summer to come, and then, oh, well, that was silly. I wait and wait and wait for summer to come, and then what happens? We have smoke in the air, we have allergies. I'm like, why do I wait for summer to come all the time and then it's just miserable the whole summer. <laughs> just plain old everyday miserable all summer long because I've got allergies and and such. Allergies and such. 
all summer. It's not even like we get a break here or there. It's like one leaves, you're like, yay, the trees have stopped doing their stuff. Well, then somebody else just starts doing their thing. And then fall, fall does it too. I'm not going to argue with it. I'm not going to try to say it doesn't because it does. I should really have my leaf out here so I can at least look at the leaf. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's easier. I can see what I'm doing with the leaf. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Fall, we have all those lovely mold spores. What a wonderful conversation topics this is, huh? This is fantastic. But as you can tell, you can you can make your very own painting. Anybody can do this. You can do it if you have like little tiny people who want to paint something. You can tell them we're going to make our own painting today. We're going to make our own little paintable art project and we're going to do it all on our own and it's going to be fantastic and it's going to be great and we're going to do it ourselves and we're going to surprise people because why not I'm just going to put some of this yellow in here again because I can and this is where I'm seeing it because my leaf is green so I know you see this but uh, my leaf is very green and I want it to be a fall color. So I'm imagining, I'm using my imagination and I'm deciding in my brain what my leaf might look like if I hadn't picked it. But I did, I picked it. But it was hanging in my face as I walked by and I was like, hello. I think you want to come home with me, don't you? So yeah, this is what I'm going to do. And I was like, what can I do with this beautiful leaf? And then it came to me. I was like, thinking of what could I paint today on this piece of beautiful paper. And as I was thinking of it, I was like, oh my goodness. I wonder if that leaf is like the right size. I wonder how that would work. And look at it. Oh my goodness. I just looked up here. It's really, 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 really cool. Okay, so we're going to put some red in here because I can. Um, a Leather and Crimson by Daniel Smith, of course. Because why not? Um, he is definitely, if you haven't noticed, one of my absolute favorites. You know, even if I picked him out, if I saw him in the street, I wouldn't be able to pick him out. I wouldn't, I don't even know what he looks like. It's like one of those weird things where you're like, huh. Somebody would be like, hey, you just walked right past him. And I'd be like, what? I don't even know what he looks like. Okay, so I'm going to blend this a little bit. Because I don't want it to be too, like, oh my goodness, there's some red weirdness right there. But... Yeah. Yeah. You can take this as far as you want to. You can make it a pretty orange leaf. Or you can make it a beautiful red leaf. You could add some purple because I have seen purple in the fall leaves. Especially around here. There's so many colors. We have our favorite places to go and look at the leaves. Excuse me. In the fall. And one of our favorite places to go to look at the the fall colors is 
uh, a cemetery here that is more like a park than a cemetery. It's fantastic. I love it. Uh, people get their pictures taken there all the time. We have our we have done all kinds of stuff out there, and it was fantastic. I just thought of two other colors I have, Daniel Smith colors I have, and I don't even know what they're called. Uh, let's see if I can still read it. Red Fuchsia Genuine and uh, Titanium something. I don't know what that one is, but um, these are like natural colors. I mean, this this one, it actually smells kind of like metal, like outside. And I can't remember what it's called. I'll find out. But look at that. I was thinking, I was like, man, that that rusty color that it gives off. I think would look really good on this leaf. Yeah. You needed some of that that rusty. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Like we're like almost like you got a little bit of a um like a leaf that's been sitting out in the yuckiness and it's all kind of moldy and gross. But still beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, a little bit of this. This has a has a, a fleck in it. It's like it's sparkly. Um, they're supposed to be like uh, precious stones, I think. Precious metals. Not metals, but precious stones. So, that's what I'm thinking this needs it's a little bit of that just a hint of sparkles because it is so pretty and I really love this yeah yeah my daughter got me one of these too one of these beautiful precious metal I'll have to get that one out for the next video because it's really it's a lot pinker and it's really really beautiful oh look at that yep oh yeah that's what it needed just a little I like it with more of the, the ready orange yep but I think we still need some more red in there because we got a lot of yellow so what else do we have no I think that is the other in a little, little crimson is going to be the best. Yep. Yep. That's the one I wanted. That is the pretty one. That's the one I love. It's super duper red. Oh, I just love red. My grandma used to have this thing she would say, and now I have adopted it. And she always said, you say, Grandma, what's your favorite color? I remember asking her this. Grandma, what's your favorite color? And she said, I love all colors as long as they're red. And I was just a kid, and I just thought that was just, that was the coolest thing ever. So now I say that. I love all colors as long as they're red. Painting does make you appreciate all the colors, like all of the colors. So, if you start painting, um, you will love all the colors. You will appreciate them because you see why and what and where and all that good stuff. So, you understand more about the colors and it's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, but, still. This is my favorite color, red. Red is my favorite color. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, under the sea green because it is a leaf and I still think it should have a little bit in there. I know it's getting kind of busy, but 
I just, I love fall leaves. What do you think? What's your favorite fall leaf? I've even taken fall leaves and um, kind of shellacked them. I guess you'd call it shellacking. Um, got it where you could put them in the mail. Yeah, I sent them to my sister and my cousin and sent, it to all, sent some leaves to all of them, gave some to my mom. Still have some somewhere. But what do you think? Oh, I love it. I love it. I think that green is just doing it. What do you think? Just a little hint here and there, just giving it that definition around the edges a little bit. Yep, I like it. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so now we're going to work on the stem. We're going to keep on with that green. Just going to make it a nice stem. Nice, thick stem. And that's about it. That's about all we need to do to it. Yeah. And we could put some veins if we wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. We'll see. We'll let it dry again and we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. And then I'll be back and we'll see if it needs veins or anything. So far. So far, whoa, I just looked at it through the viewfinder. Wow, so far, I love it. Okay, let me know what you think. I think it does look better with veins. I made the veins with the neutral tint. Uh, just a little bit of it on the tip of my paint, paintbrush. And just very lightly went across. And then it was, I think it looks really good. Wow. I think it turned out way better than what I thought it was going to turn out. What do you think? <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that is the bomb diggity right there. So, I would love to see you try your hand at this and tell me what you think. You can do this. This is awesome. It's just tracing a leaf. Make a circle, trace a leaf, whatever you think. It's still a little wet up at the top, but but look at that. I think it turned out wonderful. I'm so happy we did this. I would love to hear what you think. I would also love to see you try your hand at painting. So if you feel like you can or would like to try, please tag me at hashtag the painting turtle or hashtag the painting turtle 28 either will work I would love to see what you come up with I'd love to hear what you think about this because this was fun this was exciting and I enjoy this is my love right here I'm painting the background and then putting something on the top of it and it just makes me happy I would love to hear what you think so shoot me a comment give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends because I want to grow my channel and spread the love of art to every corner of the world so please share this with your friends um, subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost a thing but it sure helps me out give me a thumbs up when it, once again and give me a comment and I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to tell you much love and peace to you all. And thank you for being here. God bless you. And keep you safe. I'll see you next time. Go art it up. Bye.